Thursday blessings to you. We're in the middle of a busy season here. I'm here this week. We're gone for a family memorial next week. So no Tuesday or Thursday videos back the next week. And then I'm gone for the Nashville mission trip. So July is just always so busy. Every year I say I'm not going to schedule extra things, and we always do. But a few weeks ago, a influencer, one of my favorite Instagram follows, asked the question, who taught you joy? And she went on to give a bunch of examples in her own life. And so I've been pondering that question for a very long time. Who taught me joy? My dad taught me joy about how to get eyes, little candy eyes on ice cream cones at our favorite ice cream place back home in Pennsylvania. My sisters have taught me joy about how to loosen up physically, emotionally, um, and laugh. Dan by far has taught me joy about seeking out silly things on trips and to rest and relax and to find joy in the ordinary moments. He also makes me laugh and roll my eyes the most, so he definitely is at the top of the list of joy. Our baby, somehow almost eight months old, has taught me joy in the quiet snuggles, in the, mo- in the open mouth kisses. <laughs> the youth group, the Connection Kids, the sweet note I got a few weeks ago from a beloved first grader that said, Dear Bethany, thank you for praying with us. That was both an immense gift but a pocket of joy. So who has taught you joy? Is your joy deep and wide like the song calls us to? The children's song, but also the song that speaks so much to life as a Christian, deep and wide joy. Do you need to explore for more joy, right? Joy and happiness aren't the same. Happiness is kind of a fleeting surface level thing. Joy, like the song, is deep and wide and is a gift from God. I hope that you will wonder and ponder that question of who taught you joy while also doing more to experience joy in this busy July. Blessings.